1834. Good luck. So we've not played before, no head to head score. Let's play the normal Karo. Whoa, 3,000 games for my opponent, 3,600. But only 1,300 in bullet and 2,600. See, that's unusual. You shouldn't have a big rating gap like that. Most players, your rating gap isn't that big from one discipline to another. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's just throw a check in. He'll have to drop his bishop back. But only 1,300. There'll be 1,900. Only 14 games in rapid, but 1,900. Um, I think queen across is fine here. With black, we're just trying to equalize the position, basically. So jump across, hit the queen, then we've got an option how to take back. If he trades, he doesn't have to. Awkward pawn if he wants to keep the queen on, though. But I like the idea of bringing the pawn into the center. Okay, now we're going to try and castle and be opposite side castling. So let's just develop and castle. Okay, now I guess we push our pawn like our opponent's going to do. Okay, flies down the board. How do I do this? I'm wondering whether to actually push in the middle. He can obviously kick the knight, but does that really matter? Hmm. Let's develop the bishop first and connect the rooks. The knight can still drop back. So here now, he might just ignore it and push. So I'm wondering whether to do this, let him push anywhere. I'm going to push this pawn. It's going to be difficult to create any chance of this game. Could easily go wrong though. Obviously my knight's going to drop back when forced to drop back. Oh, he chooses to take. Okay. I'm going to drop the knight round now and try and get forward. See what he does with these pawns. Maybe push in the middle. I'm not sure yet. Let's push in the middle. Hmm. He's just blasting forward, isn't he? What the heck? I think I have to push here. If takes and I take, there's all sorts of nasties coming, but it's probably kind of forced. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit odd this one, because he's got a really big rating gap between disciplines. But enough games to establish a rating. You shouldn't have a big rating gap like that normally. So I'm a little bit skeptical about this. I hope I'm wrong, of course, though. Yeah, he's played across, so he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He really knows what he's doing. Um, I'm not sure I can do anything to challenge this. I think we have to take him bishop up. I think we kind of have to. Hmm, there's not a lot I can do here, I don't think, sadly. But let's just see. Played rook across. Hmm. I don't think I've got any moves at all here of any use. Let's get rid of that bishop. I wonder whether to drop the knight back or the knight forward. Let's go forward because we hit two. But he's very close to blasting through in the and back rank mate issues. I've got to try and deal with this if I can. Wow, just launches forward. Okay. I guess I have to take. Now, can I get my rook into play without this being hopelessly lost? Here. Knight down, I guess. Hmm. That might not be any real option. Rook across, knight down. Hold on. Can I play a move like rook across here with a view to going forward? Hmm. 
I'm going to go here with a view to going forward if he comes in. And suddenly you'll see that we're trying to attack the second rank. He's still got rook across, so he's fine, but we're trying to counter. Then we'll try and run a pawn. But if he gets his knight coordinated to hit my center pawn, it's just going to be lost. So I'm trying to create some sort of counter play, which might not exist, of course. But that's what I'm trying to do, and he'll be aware of that now. He can easily block if he leaves his pieces there. He can still play rook across even if I get here, so he's fine. So is there anything else we've got other than trying to push a pawn? Yeah, he does come in. So I'm going to go there now, and he'll probably have to play a move like rook across now, or rook back. But right now there's no knight check. And there is a target for this pawn if we can get there. So he has indeed gone back. So we're going to trade that and we're going to come over and target this pawn. Knight in, I just go up. But can I start to run now? I'm going to start my own pawn run now, I think. It's a little bit dicey, isn't it? Here, here, then he's got a check. And he wins my pawn, yeah. Hmm. I think this game is practically just about over. Hmm. Let's run our pawn then. Oh, I've just blundered it straight away. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very skeptical of this game. I think there's something wrong with this one. So my opponent, there's too big a rating gap from one discipline to another, so that suggests there's something wrong. Let's just get forward in here. There is a check, I'm aware of that. You shouldn't see big rating gaps from one discipline to another. Okay, let's come forward. Knight check is now covered. He's just trying to coordinate and he's doing a terrific job of it, to be fair. Hmm. So it's finished, isn't it? It's finished. It's game over. We've got to come back. Yeah, I'm not even trying to play this game now, though, because I'm skeptical of my opponent, sadly. So I'm not trying too hard. I mean, obviously I'll try, but I'm not trying too hard because I don't think I've got any chance at all. Yeah, rook across. So we have to block it. Can I get my king across? Let's see. Obviously, I have to block it there. So hit the knight. Where does it go? Mm, he is getting slightly lower on time now. Here, that's a problem, but I've got king upright. Check and his pawn is loose. Let's come here and try and come in. Okay, so try and come in. If check here, I think. Takes, I take. There's a check, but he doesn't win the rook because they're on the three squares apart. So now we are back actually in the game. Yeah, once you get one suspicious player, it tends to throw your concentration for everybody else, even though most players are playing perfectly fairly, of course, which it looks like my opponent actually is. It's just, it's very unusual when you see a large rating gap from one discipline to another, but it could be someone who's like not very quick with the mouse, but they're very fundamentally good. So something like that could be the case. Uh, let's grab the pawn. If my pawn wasn't there, I would have had a check, but it was there, so I didn't have. Um, but this is still very, very awkward because he's got this, and it's not easy to get out here, is there? Mm. I'm going to step forward, though, because, again, there's no knight check mm. here. Let's hit the knight. We hit the pawn. He checks. So can I just march forward here? No, he's got a check. Let's drop back. Hmm, so we can trade pawns. 
Hmm, actually no, it's too dangerous not to, I think I should. Too dangerous not to. Beyond a dark square because of where his knight is. Yeah, we managed to flag him just, but boy, that was a tough game, wasn't it? Let's see how the engine said we actually played that one. I suspect it wasn't very good. 54 moves. There are the move times. Then we request an analysis. Yeah, completely flat line level there, but we were worse. We've blundered here, so we're actually back in the game in this position. And we should have just ignored the hit to the bishop and played king across to hit the knight and we're still basically level. But yeah, we've basically been worse, essentially worse the whole entire game. Pawns played a terrific game there, so what was it? Well, the figure's kind of a misleading art. It says 88% for me, 87% for my opponent. Send upon lost 28 and my opponent 29. In blitz, my average is like 42 or something like that. I think it's 32 in rapid, 42 in blitz, and 49 in bullet, or thereabouts. There, my average center pawn loss, but that's a terrific game for my opponent there, so that's really well done.